Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and it's been a few days since I posted a video and I wanted to show you real quick a couple of things. Let's first start with the ground cherry plant over here. As you see, last video I showed, I was showing you these beautiful tiny flowers like you see right back there, as well as over here forming. And now that the flowers are beginning to wilt away, they're starting to turn into the lanterns, which is exactly where the ground cherry is going to form. Let's actually come in nice and close so you could see right in the middle there, that's the lantern. And to the right of it, you could see a flower that just blossomed not too long ago. So that flower is going to turn into this lantern here. And inside of the lantern is where it's going to be the edible fruit. And that's the ground cherry. And the nice thing about this plant is you don't need to come in and pick it. When the fruits are ready to fall off, they're going to fall off the, the plant and just fall to the ground, which is how they got the name ground cherries. And once they fall to the ground, you basically just come in and collect them and put it on a nice little dish or like a little plate somewhere. And you let them continue to ripen up. And when they fall to the ground, they're still green and unedible. And you don't want to eat them when they're unripened. It might be, if you eat a lot of them, it might be a little bit dangerous. But one or two probably won't do anything to you. So what you want to do is basically just collect them and put them on a plate and let them continue to ripen up. And you know when they're ready because when they fall they're green and when they ripen up they're nice yellow color and that's when they're ready to eat and enjoy. So what I'm going to do is just basically place them on a little plate in my kitchen somewhere out of the sun room temperature and just continue let it to ripen up. And if I spin this plant around you actually see there's a ton of lanterns that are forming. And in case anybody's interested this is being grown under a T5 grow light with four light bulbs right there and it's very small wattage so it doesn't require a lot of electricity to run this this thing generates I think only about 96 or like 98 watts something like that something really small and I barely even notice it on my electric bill and you could see right over here these little white spots originally I thought that was a nutrient deficiency and after doing some research this is just basically a white leaf spot which happens sometimes with plants. It's not really harmful or damaging to the plant. It's just something that happens similar to white mildew on like cucumber plants and like squashes, things like that. And if I actually show you real quickly, look at how thick the stem is beginning to get. And you see all these tiny little suckers that are growing. And this is similar to the tomato plant. So it's gonna be, it's also part of the nightshade family. So what I did was, if you actually see right over here, let me try to cover this up so you can see it clearly. You see these thin, tiny thin little hairs that's also like on tomato plants. And all these hairs, once you bury them, should turn technically into roots. So what I did was I came in and I clipped one right over here, the smallest one, being that I have four seeds in here. So this is technically four plants in one. I clipped it and I tried to propagate it over here on this side right back there straight ahead I tried I took a little clipping just put it in some cocoa core and it's been a couple days and it seems to be growing right now it looks a little bit sad because it looks a little dry so I'm gonna water it in a few minutes so we'll see hopefully I'm able to turn one plant into two and if that doesn't work I'm gonna try to propagate the suckers and we'll do that actually together once they get a little bit bigger and the that's pretty much what's going on currently with the ground cherries. So if I actually pick you up a tiny bit higher here, you begin to see in between all of these new little tiny flowers forming as well as a lot of these flowers are beginning to wilt away and turn into lanterns like I showed you earlier. And in case anybody didn't see what a flower looks like, let me pick this plant up and show you. Look at that. That's the flower right there. Nice beautiful white petals with a little purple center here's another one here and as you see there's a ton of flowers basically all over the place and the nice thing about this plant is it's growing so fast and producing these flowers extremely quickly that i'm really surprised how fast it's growing honestly and i can't wait for one of these ground cherries to fall to the ground so i could really try it and see what it tastes like it's supposed to be a tropical flavor similar to like a pineapple mixed with maybe like another like some type of berry so I'm really, really excited to give this a try. And like I mentioned, when they fall to the ground, I'm going to collect them and let them continue to ripen. And I'll show you what it looks like once they fall, as well as 
when they ripen. So we'll be doing a few more episodes with this ground cherry plant. And I'll keep showing you how big this thing gets. Because right now it's nice and small and compact. It's only basically about, I would say, maybe four to three inches away from the grow lights here. And it seems to be loving the heat. And for now, it's, the plant is doing quite well. Let's actually take this a, a little bit out. I want to see what the root system looks like. It's been some time since I looked at it. So let's try to quickly get that out. And look at this beautiful, beautiful compact root system. Nice, white, healthy, beautiful looking roots. Look at that. And if you look inside, you see the nutrients are beginning to drop down. What I'm doing, what I'm going to do is basically every single Sunday, I'm going to come in and test the root. Uh, I mean, sorry, I test the nutrients. I'm going to see what the pH is, what the PPM is. And if it drops below, if it drops a little too low, I'm actually going to be changing out and swapping out the nutrients in here. So I'll be doing weekly tests and we may even do that together this Sunday. Let's see how it goes. But for now, I honestly couldn't be happier with the current growth of the plant. And like I said, I can't wait to try the berries. And we'll be coming back in a few days or maybe maybe about a week or two once the ground cherries get a little bit bigger. And you could really see what the lantern looks like. It's supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful looking lantern. Similar to what a uh, tomatillo looks like. And I can't wait to show you guys. So if you like the episode or have any questions, hit the thumbs up and post the questions down below. And as always, I'll do my best to answer everything. And yeah, thanks for watching.